What is up guys, today is August 4th, 2016, and today I've got something pretty neat to show you. We're in my backyard, and look what we've got here. That's right, we've got a riding lawnmower, a lawn tractor. Um, this is the first time we've had a lawn tractor on our property. The last one we had was, uh, my dad got it like eight years ago. We had it for like a day, uh, he found it by the side of the road, it was a junk pick. And uh, crapped out on us after a day, and it was uh, back out on the road the day after he got it. So that was our uh, first, and um, that was kind of our first experience with a uh, riding lawnmower on our property. Um, but we've, we've got a new one now. Um, our lawn really isn't designed for a, uh, a lawn tractor, but um, my dad bought this temporarily um, to fix it up and uh, get it going and uh, hopefully make some money off of it. Um, but as I was saying, uh, normally our, our lawn is done better with a push mower. This thing is way too big for our yard, which is why my dad doesn't plan on keeping it. But um, the story behind this thing is basically my dad bought this thing about three or four days ago um, from the neighbor. Um, the neighbor was selling this along with two push mowers. Uh, my dad actually bought one of those push mowers too. It's an Aaron's very nice, well-built push mower. And um, as I was saying, he was selling this too, and um, he was selling it for such a great price that my dad just couldn't pass it up. Uh, my dad got this thing for $100 plus free delivery to our house, um, and the neighbor was selling it for that price because uh, A, he had to get it out of his garage. He bought a, a new push mower, and uh, he didn't need all those lawnmowers in his garage. He bought a new Honda, I'm pretty sure. and. Um, he also, um, there, this thing also has a bad uh, head gasket on it, which is why he, he kind of let it go for so cheap. Uh, but I'll explain that in a few minutes. So um, my dad just couldn't pass up the deal. The neighbor offered to, to deliver it to our house for free. So my dad's like, sure, why not? So um, that's how we got this thing. So that's how we got a uh, tractor now. So um, I'm uh, I'm 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 really happy we've got this thing, even if it's just temporarily. I uh, have really always enjoyed these things ever since I drove my first Ryan lawnmower back in uh, 2006 at my uncle Don's uh, farm. Um, that was uh, I've just kind of always really liked these things. I've always liked driving them. Um, I I think they're a lot of fun. Um, even even when you're not cutting the grass with them, I, I just think they're a lot of fun to drive. I personally think. I mean. You can call me crazy, but I just enjoy driving these a lot more than I do, you know, even driving a car. Um, I just have a lot of fun on these things. Um, the first uh, riding lawnmower I drove was my Uncle Don's uh, John Deere 345, which he uh, still has. That was back in 2006, and um, uh, that was that. I've, uh, I've, I've driven that one a few times then. Um, just in the past few weeks, uh, we've been out to my Uncle Scott's mom's house in Marseilles, which my uncle is uh, fixing up. And um, he's he's got the Yardman lawn tractor out there that you guys have seen a few times. I've uh, done a few few videos on that one. But my dad bought this last week, and he's like, hey, look what I got. And I'm like, wow. So, uh, <laughs> pretty darn neat. So, um, I'm going to do a quick video on it today. Just uh, go over it, um, explain it a little bit, then we'll uh, start it up for a few minutes. Uh, before it starts to smoke like crazy, and I'll explain that in a minute too. So um, it's a Craftsman LT1000. I'm not sure if I uh, I, I might have failed to mention that Craftsman LT1000. Not sure what year it was manufactured. Maybe uh, some of you who know more about these can tell me. Um, I'm not sure, but um, it's not your John Deere, but it's a pretty dependable machine. It seems like um, it's got a 17 or no. Uh, I think it is a 17.5 horsepower uh, overhead valve Briggs & Stratton engine, as you guys can see right there. Let's take a look at the engine. This is it, uh, pretty generic. Um, pr pretty nice engine, kind of generic, but like I was saying, it's, your, it's just your standard Briggs & Stratton. Um, as I was saying before, uh, one of the reasons why my dad got this thing for so cheap was because um, it does have a bad head gasket on it, and what happens when your head gasket goes bad is the oil um, leaks out, and I believe it gets into the piston. I did read up on this. Um, I'm not an expert with gas engines, but I'm pretty sure um, what happens when you have a bad head gasket is it 
leaks out, the oil leaks out, and it gets into the piston of the engine, and it causes the engine to burn a lot of oil. And uh, when that happens, when the engine starts to get hot, it just burns more and more and more, and uh, smoke just starts pouring out of it. So um, I don't think it's super bad on this one. I, I've, I've seen a lot worse on uh, tractors on, uh, on, on YouTube. Um, but this thing does have a, a pretty bad smoking problem, which will have to be fixed before we uh, go to turn around to sell this thing again. Um, so, um, my dad is going to have that fixed pretty soon, but currently he's uh, still working on the Ford F-250, so I have a feeling this thing will be put on, uh, this project will be put on hold for uh, quite a while now. I'm not sure how long it'll be before we have this thing going, and... Uh, you know, I'm not sure how long it'll be before we fix the head gasket. But anyway, that's about that. I will still start it up for you guys and take it for a quick spin. I just can't drive it too long or uh, smoke will start pouring out of it. So um, let's take a quick look at the rest of it. Um, the first thing you guys probably are going to notice about this thing is it has the optional bins on the back. Uh, similar to a push mower where you have your bag, um, this thing has bins on it to catch the grass. So the grass comes when you're cutting, the grass comes out the side there, comes through this uh, chute, and comes out this uh, end right here, and it goes into these two bins. And um, these will fill up when they're full. You just uh, take them off. They're just like recycle bins or garbage bins. You take them off just like that, empty them, and you're uh, good to mow again. So um, there's that. Um, here's a view from this side. Um, you guys have pretty much seen this thing, so I'm going to hop on it and, oh yeah, it's got headlights on it. I'm going to hop on it and, uh, we'll go over the controls really quick and then we'll, uh, start it up for you guys, so. Here's the, uh, view from the driver's seat. The battery is under the seat, so I won't show you guys that now, but if you, uh, seen one battery, you've pretty much seen them all. Um, here's your steering wheel, obviously. You've got your amp hour meter. Tells you how many amps you're pulling. Um... This is the, th the throttle for the engine, pretty basic. Got your clutch pedal down here, which uh, currently it's pushed in and will not move because the parking brake is on. I'll show you guys that in a minute too. This is your, uh, your, your blade engaged. So you push that, you push that all the way up and around and that engages your blade. Um, this is the uh, deck height here. So you pull this back, push it on that button. Then you can move the deck up and down. So, it's pretty neat. I think I had it at five. That'll, uh, as soon as you let go of that button, it'll uh, click in at the nearest setting you're on. Um, key switch, of course, doesn't, uh, un unlike the yard man we've got out in Marseilles, uh, there's a few di uh, differences between these two. Um, the headlight is mandatory. I'm pretty sure once you turn the key, the headlight goes on and uh, it stays on. You don't have a headlight switch like the yard man. And um, this is one thing I didn't show you guys yet. This is the, uh, the speed control. Um, this pretty much controls the movement of the tractor altogether. Unlike the, the John Deere's, which have the pedals down here, the forward and reverse pedals, this is your whole uh, control here. So um, this is your uh, neutral position right here. You push this forward. The uh, farther you push it, the faster the tractor will move. Um, this is your reverse. It'll move backwards. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start up for you guys. What was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say a couple differences between this and the yard man we've got out in, Mar in Marseilles. Um, the, uh, this uh, control here is actually up here, so I'm used to having my hand over here to control the uh, speed of it. And the clutch is uh, on this side on the yard man. So uh, it's quite different. It's uh, taken me a little bit of time to get used to, but... Um, as I said, this is a little bit different, not what I'm used to, but it's a very nice lawn tractor. So the parking brake's on, so I'm not going to hold down the clutch. The clutch is already held down with the parking brake. To release the parking brake, push it on the clutch, and then this, this lever here goes down. From there, you can move the clutch pedal as you want. And you push it all the way in, you push that little bar up, let go of the clutch pedal, and that's all there is to it. So release the parking brake. I guess I will hold in the clutch. And uh, let's fire the tractor up. There we go. It's going to start smoking here soon. So I'm going to take it for a quick spin.
there you guys go i'm not sure how well you can see that but this thing is already smoking like crazy so not as bad as i've seen it on uh some youtube videos but this thing uh is definitely gonna need a new head gasket uh, pretty soon here so uh until that is replaced um we will not be able to use this thing to mow the lawn um but um after we do get it fixed, I'll uh, record some, some more videos on it, maybe show it actually mowing. Oh, I completely forgot to show you guys. This is uh, the second take of this video. I forgot to show this again. I'm gonna activate the deck on it really quick. There, that pretty much uh, shows everything I wanted to show you guys. I, I think that's about it. So, thank you guys for watching today. I'll keep you guys updated on this little project here. And uh, for today, that'll be it.